Today is World Autism Awareness Day, and one group wants to spread the word about autism and girls. Autism spectrum disorder, often marked by socialisation difficulties and repetitive behaviour, is much more commonly diagnosed in boys. Experts say that's because many girls living with autism are missed or misdiagnosed. Here's social affairs correspondent Norman Hermont. Are you going to do a banana meal? Things are easier at home now for Katie Coolis and her two girls. Both have been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, ASD, level one. Also known as Asperger's syndrome, it made school tough going for eight-year-old Kiki. Yeah, it was way hard. It took me a year to make one friend. Katie Coolis started a group for girls living with autism after struggling for years to have her other daughter, Mia, diagnosed. Well, a lot of the time, psychologists or doctors or paediatricians know the way the typical autism presents, which has been based on the way boys present. $100. Natalie Galvin also knows how hard it can be to identify autism in girls. Her son was diagnosed with ASD relatively quickly. Not so her daughter, Emma. Every time we approached a, um, like a professional to sort of talk about it, it was always dismissed as, oh, you know, she's just shy or, um, you know, she'll be fine. Officially, boys outnumber girls with ASD four to one, but experts say that figure is misleading. It's much tougher to spot in the girls. Um, they're far better at imitating um, and often observe before they have a go. For 18-year-old Chloe Hayden, her intense shyness and social difficulties weren't identified as ASD until she was 13. She now volunteers to help other girls with autism. I think it's really important that kids can see that autism isn't what makes them them. It's not a label which sticks itself onto you. It's just another part. That works for Kiki and Mia. With therapies in place to manage their autism, they can just be kids. Norman Hermont, ABC News.